So I'm just here in uh, Odaiba. So, yo, Odaiba. Odaiba is like this artificial island, okay, that is surrounded by water. As you know, islands are surrounded by water. Okay. What's going on, guys? So I'm just here at, uh, where am I right now? Tonkatsu Wako. So they do tonkatsu here? I don't know if you guys know what tonkatsu is. So, uh, tonkatsu, eh? Um, basically, tonkatsu is a Japanese dish. It is basically a uh, pork cutlet that is being breaded and then deep fried. You know, it's, uh, it's quite easy to... Now, in order to prepare tonkatsu, we are going to need a few ingredients. Yes. We are going to need one egg. One egg. And then we are going to need flour. All purpose flour. And then we are going to need panko breadcrumbs. Yes, a Japanese breadcrumb that is much larger. And then we are going to need one pork loin. Yes, one a very small pork loin. Okay, so traditional ways of eating tonkatsu is pretty simple. Um, usually what you'll do is dress the pork cutlet or anything that you boarded with the tonkatsu sauce. So tonkatsu sauce is brown sauce because it's brown, you know, the sauce looks brown. So they call it brown sauce. So now that that process is done, we are going to now tenderize our meat some more, yes. So in order to tenderize the pork loin some more, we are going to now use our meat tenderizer, yes. If you do not have one, you could use the back of a knife, yes. So I am going to use the flat side to tenderize my meat. <laughs> Then, when it comes to your cabbage, uh, you'll be dressing it with the whatever is offered, which is the ponzu. Ponzu, eh? You know, what can you say about it? It's just, you know, I think it's soy sauce and lemon juice. Basically, you know, it's just like a very citrusy soy sauce. You know? So I've taken soy sauce, I took a lemon, they squeeze, and then they shake. That's it. It's only good common sense. Yeah, you know, and then ponzu sauce was invented. But I don't know, I'm not a chef. What do I? So now that our pork is tenderized, we can now move on to the next step. So, first we're going to dip it into the flour. Yes, our all-purpose flour. And we're going to gently cover that with flour, yes. The final touch uh, that I enjoy is the kalashi, which is the... Oh yeah, the kalashi is awesome. It's basically, you know, hot mustard. Now that our pork is generously covered in flour, we can now dip it in our egg. Yes, so gently bathe the pork in the egg. And once you have a lovely coating around the pork, we can then move on to the panko breading. Yes, so quite quickly drop it. Doesn't that look awesome? You know? That, oh, the presentation is just fantastic, eh? I mean, you look at that, like, you know, you get the tonkatsu, you get the rice, you get the cabbage, you get the miso soup. I mean, it's just, it's just awesome. You know? And you get the green tea as well. I mean, oh, just what an epic looking meal, you know? All for 15 bucks, you know? Super, super cheap. Or 20, I'm, I don't really remember. Kanichi wa. So now that our pork is prepared and we have thoroughly covered it in panko breading, the Japanese breadcrumb that is much larger, we can now move on to our next step. Yay! So the next step is going to be deep frying the pork cutlet. Yes, deep frying. Yum, yum. <laughs> The, the combination with the the spicy mustard, the sweetness of the now I love the the combination of the kalashi and the brown sauce. 
because the color she is hot and spicy you know and then you get the brown sauce which is a bit of a sweeter sauce you know and the combination when they mix it's just awesome and then you put that on top of the the pork cutlet oh the crispy pork cutlet oh man 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 that is just mm, delicious you know mouth watering it's so to prepare our pork for frying we are going to have to fill our pan with oil yes or if you have a deep fryer and that would be better but I am going to use a deep cast iron pan yes and I'm going to fill it halfway filled with oil a vegetable oil and then I'm going to heat it to 350 degrees. Yes. So it's pretty common here in uh, Japan <clears throat> to ring the button or something. I mean, how many times do you get to just press a button? I just love it. You know, I don't have to call anybody. I don't have to raise my hand. I don't have to say, excuse me. Hello, you forgot us. You know, you know how that works. You know, you go to a restaurant, they forget you. No, no, no. Press the button. They come running. I love this. Love this. You know, I need one at home or something, you know, you just press a button, somebody comes running and gets you what you need. That's what I need. That's what I want. I need one of those. Soup to gohan. Soup to I know there's a word that you're supposed to say. Maybe soup or wari? I don't know. Or wari or something. I can't really remember. Uh, what you say, but it's something like owari, oh, like soup owari. Oh, uh, so basically, what that means is that you know, uh, if your rice is finished, or if your soup is done, or your cabbage is done, you can order more. So if you feel like you know a bit of a pig, you know you can get more. You know, pig, pork, pig, pork cutlet, pig. You know, both of your pork, both of your pigs. Anyway, bad joke. Not that funny, but I thought I would say it. Anyway, what was I saying? Can't remember. So I know what you might be thinking. Help me, help me. I don't have a thermometer. How do I know it's a 350? Well, that is a good question. What you might want to do is throw in a piece of panko breading and if it rises and bubbles, then it is ready. <laughs> yeah, cabbage, eh? It's not my favorite thing ever, but you know, it's cool. You know, once you dress it enough with the ponzu sauce, it's amazing, you know. I really do enjoy it, but uh, you know, it's just cabbage. What can you say, you know, it's just good old cabbage. I'm here for the pork, you know, I'm not really here for anything else. I'm here for the pork. I want that pork. I'm here for the pig. Give me the pig. So now that you have done the panko breading test and your oil is hot enough, you can now throw in your pork loin. Yes, your pork loin. And you want to cook that for five to seven minutes until cooked into the center, yes. All right, destroyed that. Now, I think I overdid it with the extra serving of rice and cabbage and miso soup. <laughs> like, heavily. <laughs> uh, <yeah. clears throat> I'm gonna walk this off or something. And <clears throat> then I'm gonna do dessert. Hey, Siri. What's brown sauce? Brown sauce is a condiment served with food in the United Kingdom and Ireland, normally dark brown in color. Want to hear more? Yes. Yes. The ingredients include a varying combination of tomatoes, molasses, dates, apples, tamarind spices, vinegar, and sometimes raisins. The taste is either tart or sweet with a peppery taste similar to that of Worcestershire sauce. Brown sauce is typically eaten with meals such as full breakfasts, bacon sandwiches and chips. Well there you go. Eh? Thanks Siri.
What a polite, eh? So polite. So, so polite. No, we should date. Or not, there you go. She just disappeared on me, eh? She just goes. Yeah. So hard to find a good woman these days, yeah? I don't know. 